It was Valentine's Day this week. So with that in mind, we decided to ask people some questions. The first question we asked them is, would you please describe your ideal romantic partner? Big burly man, you know, pointed ears, triangular face. Uh, maybe he'd just come back from the gym because you know, his muscles were a little bit pumped. Like at least eight feet tall, like kind of cool, kind of scary. Uh, shaved head, definitely bald. I don't know if that's like a fashion statement or just very unfortunate for them. Um, dude, her muscles, bulging dude. Like, I felt like just looking at them, I was gonna get strangled. Have you seen, have you seen their face, man? One giant eyeball. I don't even think it blinks, man. I don't even think she blinks. Pretty short um, and he likes living in caves. And he says a lot of the same thing over and over again, and he talks to himself a lot. Now, could you please describe where you would take your person on a date? Very dark alley. You know, there weren't any lights on. There was a, obviously a garbage can, like there always is. A liquid on the ground. I couldn't tell what it was because it was too dark. But it was very, very, very viscous. You know? In an attic, just like nice and dark area, the triangular roof. It's like, it's like pointy. Where do you keep Christmas trees? The attic? At your mom's house, actually, because we both know how many people be coming in and out of there. Okay. Um, now it's the end of the date and you want to serve them dessert. What would you serve them? Applesauce. I mean, it's just so chunky and just, I mean, it's like getting a bunch of grits and throwing it into like this slop, you know? I mean, I'm just a texture person, you know? It's not garlic, but it's like a garlic flavoring that they put on stuff, like a very specific kind. It's collard greens, because it's mushy and disgusting and everyone hates it. Okay, I'm starting to see why a lot of people are single. Um, okay, last question. How would you say goodbye to them on your date? At first, I would tie up their legs and then I'd probably grab them and throw them into the obvious dumpster that was there and then shake the dumpster up a little bit to disorient them, take them back out. And then you would have to go by cutting the Achilles tendon so they can't run away and then throw them back in the dumpster and leave them there and throw a bunch of trash in so they suffocate. So you just ask them to come with you in the attic because you want to do like your, your monthly Christmas celebration, right? You need to get to Christmas tree you bring them up there, then BAM! You strangle them, man. You use your arms and all that. You do all the, the strangly stuff. And you can take your Christmas tree out and set up for your monthly Christmas decoration fiesta thing. Um, they, he would lure this person into his cave and then he would slap him around with some fish, right? To get him nice and scared. And then he would start asking riddles. Um, and he would just keep asking riddles. And then he ate them.